Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of my series of videos on encryption with Python. In this video, we're going to look at asymmetric encryption, which is often referred to as public key encryption or public key infrastructure, PKI. If you remember from part one, there are basically three types of encryption. We already covered symmetric encryption, which uses one key to encrypt data. Now we're going to focus on asymmetric encryption, which uses key pairs, private and public keys. We'll see an example in Python of how the key pairs are related by encrypting information with our public key and decrypting it with our private key. Finally, we'll see how to use public key encryption to share keys to send encrypted data securely. So to begin, again, we need to install the library. In this case, it's the RSA library. So we can use pip to uh, do that. And then we'll import RSA. So we'll create the public and private keys. Remember, two keys for RSA. So we'll create 1,024 uh, bit. So my message is going to be my top secret. And we'll convert that to bytes as well, like we did with the symmetric key. And the uh, function here is uh, crypto's RSA is going to encrypt, and it's going to encrypt the message with the public key that was created on the second line. And now we can decrypt it with the private key that we created. So if we print that out, we should see the original message back. And there it is. In this example, we have created two keys, a public and a private key. And we have encrypted a string with the public key and decrypted it with the private key. So while this gives the concept of um, asymmetric encryption, it's not a very useful example because Every time you run this, you would create two new keys, public and private. So the decryption process would be a little uh, challenged. Also, you can only encrypt something that's less than the size of the key. So in our example, the key is 1024, which is 128 bytes, uh, minus the padding. So 110 bytes is all you could encrypt with this method. And asymmetric encryption and in top of that is generally slower, much, much slower than symmetric encryption. So what is the use? The use of asymmetric encryption typically today is to encrypt the keys. So you use your symmetric encryption to do faster, bigger files, and then you encrypt the key with asymmetric encryption and you share that among whoever needs access to the, to the data. So this is a very secure method for sharing keys and a great use of asymmetric encryption. Let's do a quick illustration before we jump into programming with uh, asymmetric encryption. We have here Alice and Bob each have two keys, a public and a private key. Um, and the private key remains private to each individual and the public key can be shared among uh, many. So in this case, Bob sends his public key to Alice. Alice takes that key and encrypts some data and sends it to Bob. And she knows that Bob is the only one that's going to be able to decrypt this data because he has the private key. And that's the magic with public key encryption. You encrypt with one key and you decrypt with the other. And you can think of the keys as passwords. They're not really, but if that makes it easier for you. So you have two passwords and you can encrypt with one and decrypt with the other and that allows you to share. In our Python coding example coming up, we're going to use this model to encrypt a file with symmetric encryption and then encrypt the keys with asymmetric encryption. So for example, Alice will encrypt the file similar to what we did before, and then use asymmetric encryption to encrypt the keys. Um, she'll use Bob's public key to encrypt the keys, and she'll send both the keys and the file, encrypted file, to Bob, knowing that only he can decrypt it because he's the only one with the private key to decrypt the keys for the uh, symmetric encryption. It sounds convoluted, but this is a common scenario, um, and this is the basis for a lot of trust relationships today where the uh, uh, keys the keys for symmetric encryption are shared securely with public key encryption, and then once the session is established, then its symmetric encryption is used beyond that. So um, it's, it's well worth knowing how to do this. To give you a more useful example of asymmetric encryption, I've created three files. The first file will create the keys that we need. So we need three keys. We need a symmetric key to encrypt a file that we have. And then we need public and private keys to encrypt and decrypt that. So we also have a program to um, encrypt 
the data once we get the keys, and finally decrypt it. So the create keys will create the three keys and write them to three separate files. So let's run that. And as you can see, when we run it, we have three new files now. We have a private key, which should look familiar to many of you because it's similar to an SSH uh, RSA key and, and other uh, uses of this. Then you have the public key, which is a little shorter, and then you have the symmetric key, which is what we used in part one to encrypt the file. We're going to encrypt the file in this example too. The file is my secret data, and it's basically just ASCII horses that we save to a file from another program. So the, now that we have the keys, the next step is to encrypt the data. So let's walk through that. So here we are in the encrypt data. We import the, the libraries. We're going to first of all encrypt that ASCII horse file. Um, and that's we're going to do that with symmetric encryption, similar to what we did in part one. Um, and we're going to create a cipher with a key. We're going to load the key from the file and, and create a cipher and encrypt it. Then we're going to write it to a file called encrypted file. And finally, we're going to get uh, open up our public key uh, from the save file, and we're going to encrypt that key with our file. So the one thing to note here is that the public key, when you load in from RSA, you need a special format here to load in the key file. So keep that in mind. It's not a simple read. So once we um, encrypt the symmetric key with our public key, we'll also write that to a file, an encrypted key file. Um, so at the end of this, we should have two new files, an encrypted file and an encrypted key file. And as you can see, we have the encrypted file here, which is the ASCII horse file that, we, that I showed earlier. And then the encrypted key is the symmetric key that we encrypted with our public key. So now we have everything. We could send this to someone. So what we would do is, um, assuming we had used their public key, we would send the encrypted file and we would send the encrypted key and they would be able to decrypt the key with their private key, which we will do here, and then uh, obviously uh, decrypt the file. So if we go to our last file, which is to decrypt the data, we have uh, we load in now our private key, because that's what we're going to use to decrypt the key. Um, and then with the private key, we'll uh, decrypt the symmetric key. We can read in the encrypted file, which is the ASCII horses. We can use our uh, symmetric key to decrypt the, the file. So I'll run this. And when I print it at the end, I should see the file, the original file, which is the ASCII horses. And there it is. That's a basic introduction into asymmetric encryption with Python. There are many libraries available to accomplish this. I found the RSA library we used here to be the most straightforward. All the code is available on my blog or on my GitHub. And in the next lesson, we'll look at the one-way hash, which is a critical part of the whole encryption uh, framework. If you enjoyed these videos, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.